Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so excited to see you here today because I have got something exciting to show you. Today I am going to take you on a little adventure and I'm going to show you how you can get rid of all of your unwanted, unworn, even broken genes in a sustainable and circular way. So let's get straight into it. I'm sure you can relate to this problem that I definitely have. Uh, so many pairs of jeans in the closet that are either too small for us, too big for us, or just too worn. Maybe they were bought like two years ago and they're not really that trendy anymore, so we don't really want to wear them anymore. And yeah, we kind of want to get rid of them, but we don't really know what to do with them, so we just leave them in the wardrobe and they just take up space in there for who knows how long. So as you probably know by now, uh, throwing your clothes in the trash is extremely unsustainable and it basically just contributes to the climate crisis. Fashion industry is one of the biggest polluters on the planet and the reason, one of the biggest reasons for that is the amount of clothes that we toss every single day because most of those clothes end up in a landfill and they keep on polluting for hundreds of years to come. For more information about this, please check this video on this same channel. It explains you everything about this. So when we know that like tossing our clothes is not sustainable, it's, it's not the way to go, then the, it raises the question, what should we do then? Especially with jeans, what should we do with the old jeans? Well, I'm going to answer this question right now. I'm going to show this to you in the most concrete way. I'm going to take you with me on a journey today. So I'm going to empty my wardrobe of all the jeans that I don't wear anymore. And I'm going to take you with me for a little journey to a place where they will upcycle and recycle those jeans in a sustainable way. And make sure you stick to the end because I did a little bit of research and I found some places where you can take your old jeans to be recycled as well. But now, let's get on this little job of emptying the wardrobe. Welcome to Red Aus. Red Aus is an Estonian clothing brand that uses leftover fabrics from the actual fast fashion factories. For example, in Bangladesh, where a lot of our fast fashion garments are made in, and they give those fabrics, those leftover fabrics, a new chance in life. I had the pleasure of seeing the brand's founder, Red, talking in a startup event a couple of years back about fashion circularity and how it's the only way forward. A couple of years back, Red Aus also branched out to recycling, which is very, very much needed in the clothing industry. And this is exactly where my jeans are going in now. Basically, if you have unwanted jeans, broken or intact, you can just drop them here at the Red Aus store and they will either sell them on, wash them obviously, or they can make them into threads. 
These threads are then used to make new garments or carpets. Isn't it cool? There's so much that can be done with our old clothes. There's no need to toss them. Seriously, there are so many options we can do with our old clothes. If you can't upcycle them, then definitely donate them to, for example, homeless shelters or these places where women go with their children if they're victims of, uh, what is it, domestic abuse and stuff like that. There are so many places where you should take your clothes instead of tossing them. So um, this is the place in Estonia where people should drop their jeans. But I also did some research for you. What, what are the places in your area where you can take your clothes to be recycled as well? And this is the list. Now, I would like you to notice something, and that is the fact that many of these places, when you take your jeans, for example, to be recycled, they offer you a discount voucher that you can use in the store. But I want you to remember that you do not need to accept that voucher. I know that discount vouchers sound oh so wonderful, but I would really love it if you could just stop for a minute and think, you just got rid of a shit ton of jeans or clothes. Do you really need more? The point was to make space in your wardrobe, not to fill it up again. And when you think about it, even though you brought all those jeans or clothes to be recycled, you still have an immense amount of clothes in your wardrobe. So you can just leave that voucher behind. You don't need to accept it. It doesn't really add any value to you at the end of the day. So. Just something I wanted to point out here. <laughs> At the end of the day, I am very much aware that my wardrobe is still quite full of jeans and trousers that I actually love and will wear for as long as it's possible. What else do you really want? So that's it for this time. I hope you found this um, useful and interesting and I hope you get recycling those jeans and upcycling as well because like if you have a hole in the knee that doesn't mean that you need to toss them they can be fixed so let's get upcycling uh subscribe for this channel to make sure that you don't miss any future videos i will be making more of these adventure sort of videos from now on for sure and also check out the previous videos there's a lot of information about me myself my journey from a shopaholic to a sustainable fashion advocate and also some really informative videos about greenwashing and also why fashion is such a big problem climate wise. So subscribe away and I can't wait to see you again next time.